Hi, we're Derek and Jenna. We started our homesteading journey in 2011 with five small children, a garden, and a few chicks. Since then, we've added three more kids and a whole lot of animals. We're currently renting 37 acres in the Blue Ridge Mountains where we raise grass-fed beef, grass-fed dairy, pastured poultry and pork, free-range eggs, and a large garden. We also have a couple pet goats, several barn cats, and a beagle. We're working on moving from growing just our own food to selling locally. We homeschool our children and are a full-time family with hopes and goals of farming for a living. We would love to welcome you all to follow our family on our journey. Hey y'all, we're back. Way later than I wanted to be. We had to get tires installed on the van this morning. We had to go to Walmart, we had to go to Lowe's. What else did we do, Jack? Uh, move the trailer around at the house to start loading it. And finally, it is like 1230-ish and we're back. To the farm to try to get the roof and the siding on this barn um, only half of the barn is getting siding because that's going to be the storage part the other half is going to be open which this this bottom half is going to be the open part for uh milking and pig farrowing and goat kidding and all those things that are going to happen so we're going to get back at it y'all I don't know how great this is gonna work because it's really windy out here, it's cold, and I can't see my screen, so I don't know if you can see what I'm getting. But the little lammies are gonna be going home today. Their, their owner, their mama's coming to get them. So it's a little bittersweet. They've been really fun and sweet, but we're we're in the middle of this move, so it's it's the timing works out. Yep, there's Jacob with his patch. Are you loving on your lammies? There's the goaties. They're over there because they can jump this fence and then they get loose and run over there. Looks like they're loving on me. They're loving on you. Hi, goaties. Hi, goaties. So, anyway, there. There's, Je there's Jerry. All right, we're, we're here doing some stuff around the farm. Derek's or this farm. Derek's at our farm that we're moving to. Um, and he and Jack and the boys are working on the pole bar. So, oh, no, don't jump the fence with them. I don't want them to jump the fence. All right, well, it's cold and windy out here. My eyes are watering from the wind. I just wanted to come out here and give you guys the opportunity to tell these little babies bye. Bye, babies. We're going to miss you. We're going to miss you. But, yeah, you know how we, when we first got them, their eyes were kind of got gray and... We thought they were blind or partially blind, but they seem to be great. They don't seem to be blind at all. So we'll miss Opal, Susie, and Lydia Lamb, but it's all part of how this goes. So we, we were, if you don't know and you're new, we were fostering these. Um, the, the friend that we got the goat babies from um, had these lambs and they were abandoned by their mamas or rejected. And we were already bottle feeding the babies. And so she asked if the girls would mind um, bottle raising these for her. So since we were already doing it, we were like, not at all. So anyway, all right, well, that's that. And hopefully Derek's getting some good footage over at the farm so you can kind of see what we got going on today. All right, y'all. Here is Solomon and Sheba. And we're, oh, there's Speedy. He's probably coming to attack me over there. Anyway, we are thinking for sure Solomon, the big one in the front, is a male because he struts around a lot. But now it doesn't mean he necessarily is, but we think he is. I think she was a girl, but we really don't know. We'll see. I see you. <laughs> These little people. The cat sure likes to walk around. <laughs> and Speedy there, he's he's naughty. Hi, Speedy. He's one who will get on you, jump on you. All right, guys. Here's the meat birds. There's roughly a hundred or so left. 
we've had several losses, which is normal. Um, we haven't actually counted them again, but they look really good. They seem to be doing fairly well. We need to freshen their water. It looks pretty good. Um, but yeah, I'm going to miss a favor. Yep, they're in the water, but they're doing really well. Hi, chickies. There's Nala and Wiggy. Hi, Wiggy sis. Hi, Wiggy. Sweet bunnies. Hey, Nala. Hi, sweet bunnies. They're so cute. Okay. There's our females. We haven't, they're not old enough to breed yet. And we're going to hold off anyways for a little while till we're ready and set up for that. But there's the girls. And there's Mr. Simba. Oops. And there's Mr. Simba. Hey, handsome. He's getting a little puff puff more on his head. And he is so sweet. He loves to be loved on. He's just the sweetest bunny. He is the boy. He's going to be the daddy when we breed him, huh? Here's an update on the hatching eggs that we got a while back, about a month ago, close to a month ago. We have four duckies and we have a couple of silkies, I think. I'm not sure. All right. And then our silky mixes. And then there's a little quail down there. Oh, we have six ducks? Yeah. There's five in here. Oh, we have five ducks in here. There were four. That's right. They told me more hatch. And we have more hatching, right? Wait, there's one in the incubator and more These little colored ducks are cute. I can't remember what it is today. Hi, baby. This one hatched Hi. today. I know. I'm sorry. You don't... Okay, okay. I'll put you down. Okay. This one hatched today. So, now we have duckies. Oh, it's so cute. Here, hold it down here. I can see. Oh, my goodness. We have duckies. Okay. Well, anyway, there's the update on our hatching adventures. One poor little quail out of all those quail eggs. So... I'm not really sure what we're going to do about that, but anyway, all right, there they are. All right, we have been getting the plants out on the sunny, warm days, which is not today. Um, yesterday we were gone and they were up and they were really dry, so I've watered them. No, no, no goats. No bad goats. You can't be in here. <laughs> anyway, so I've watered them really heavily, but you can see they were drooping a little bit, so I think they'll be fine, and I just watered them. I know you're not supposed to water the leaves like that, but... I was doing the best I could. They rearranged no, them in no, here. They're not supposed to be in here no, like this, but no, no, no. whoever put them in didn't put them in properly. We've had pretty good germination rate on a lot of things, but there's several varieties of peppers that did not do anything. Um, I think pepperoncinis, jalapenos. Um, I can't remember cayenne. There were several that didn't do anything, and so we are going to go ahead and replant some those. I know it's a little late, but it's better late than never, right? And hopefully they'll sprout. We need to rearrange this. We do that though. Put the peppers back on the heat pad. Um, I think that what I'll do is sort my little flats out and get the ones that are going to be replanted and try to get them all in one flat or two flats. That way we can kind of keep track of what we have. Keep similar size plants together. But anyway, um, I need to do that. I don't know if I'm going to actually do that thing. Oh, it's sweet bananas. I didn't get any sweet bananas. I started shishito peppers this year trying them and didn't get any of those. Um, what is this? 
I got a lot of poblanos. Flip that soil over. Made a mess. Um, but anyway, so our pepper, peppers did okay. It's like the varieties that, that did germinate did really well. And the varieties that didn't just didn't do any. So I really need to get some more of those started because we need all the peppers. Lots of peppers. My tomatoes look pretty good. We mostly got all of our varieties germinated. I think that um, we didn't have, I don't know if any atomic grape or maybe one atomic grape germinated. And I don't know if I have any more seeds. I'll have to look and see, I can't remember. But anyway, I just want to give you a little update on my greenhouse. Things are growing and getting bigger, looking good. One more thing, my onions are out and they're doing pretty good. Um, they're in these pans and this one got flipped over by chickens because somebody, those both got flipped over. Somebody didn't um, close this chicken tractor up that we were putting them in and the chicken got in there and flipped it over. But we put them all back in and watered them heavily so hopefully they'll be all right. But we need to be getting those in the ground as soon as we can at the new farm. Um, so hopefully by the week after next. I don't think next week is going to be, we're going to be busy moving. But as soon as we get settled, or not settled, but moved, we can start getting the garden in. All right, y'all. Oh, there it is. Me and these three boys in nine hours have constructed this 23 by 26, right, Jack? Or no, 23 by 24, sorry. Oh, wow. uh, pole barn. Half of it's enclosed. I did leave the front open on it for right now, mainly because I don't have a door yet. And, uh, I don't really feel like building one. I need some a couple more treated posts, or I might just cut a couple locust posts. I'm not sure to uh, actually frame for my door. But y'all check this out. This is 12 by 12. This is 12 by 12, all enclosed. I've got to get my corner trim. You can see some daylight over here in this corner, but that's normal. I've just got to get my corner trim and. Uh, It'll be sealed up nicely, but I do I need to frame a door here. I'm just not sure exactly what, how, what, when, or anything like that at the moment. But let me get y'all away from my face. Uh, this is awesome. For nine hours, I'm pretty happy with this. So now we're going to clean up and uh, maybe go work on the camper a little bit, make it a little more stable. We'll see. All right. So we're back together again, obviously. Yay! And Derek, woo! Sorry. Went around a curve there. Yeah. Derek did video on his end, so that's good. Yeah. I'm glad I haven't seen the footage yet, but I'm assuming <laughs> it's good footage. Um, and as you can hear us, you can see that we have figured out the the audio issue. We found, or Jack found, an auxiliary cord, which is what we needed, or auxiliary plug. Cable. I don't know, cable, yes. whatever. Um, but this one's like super long. The one for the camera I made for the camera is short. It has a curly little Coil. cord coiled so that it's not. So this one's really long, but the one with the coil, woo! Rough spot in the road. I know the road's really rough to you. They need to do something about that. <laughs> Where are my tax dollars going? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, uh, sorry I had to say that. Um, so anyway, we it will be here tomorrow. The coiled cord. That's the correct the correct coiled cord. Say that three times. That is a lot of talking about this auxiliary <laughs> cable that they can't even see, babe. All right, anyway, it's coming tomorrow. <laughs> and y'all don't care because you can hear us anyway, so it doesn't really matter. All right, well, anyway, we are headed to pick up some groceries. It is almost 8 o'clock. It's kind of late, but Derek and Jack have been working, and the boys, the little boys have been working all day. Obviously, you saw they're working over the farm. It wasn't all the day. Farm. We didn't get there until like well, 1230 or something. But yeah, well, we had a lot to do this morning. I've, been, Ooh, I've still been working on it. Did you tell them what we scored this morning? No. We got canning lube. 
woods, guys. Yeah. Like, for real. We have not been able to find canning lids anywhere. We found a few boxes of lids with rings. But today we found regular mouth lids alone. Regular mouth lids with rings and wide mouth lids with rings. So we bought up quite a bit because last year we didn't think we were going to be able to find any. And we basically ran out about the time we were, well, we, we could have canned more, but we ran out of lids. Yeah. And so we don't want that to happen this year. So no. we picked them up. That was exciting. So, it was exciting. We got the tires yeah. on the van today. Oh yeah, we got tires on this morning, so we, we got the pole barn built outs. today. Finished it up. Yes, we got the pole we're barn all done. Gonna do for the right little lammies anyway. went home. That's bittersweet. They were they were sweet and cute, but they got to go home. The girls were um, excited. They got paid for taking care of them, so they're very excited and yep. planning what they're gonna do with their money. I've heard about saving money for baby horses. Terrible idea. <laughs> and something about trips to Hobby Lobby and jewelry oh. making and yarn and I don't know. We'll see. That's much more reasonable. Yeah, no, Kylie wants a baby horse. She's saving her money for a baby horse, but we'll see. Anyway, um, that's about that's what we did. We're gonna get groceries and eat dinner extremely late, which we don't like to do, but we're hungry, so we're gonna do it. <laughs> and um, we haven't made a good grocery haul in a little while, so we were like, we've got to get some groceries because we're we're out, and we're out of meat again. We butchered that steer, but he didn't have much meat on him. So we we're buying meat, and I don't like buying meat. We'll, we'll have meat in the freezer soon, but. Yeah, we can't really butcher it right now in the middle of moving. So. <laughs> well, the cooler is at the other farm, and all the animals are at this farm. Yes. So we'll get it. We'll get it figured out. It's not a big deal. It's just, yeah, it is what it is. We're, we're doing the best we can and making everything happen, and it's exciting. It's it very exciting. So I guess tomorrow will be another busy day going uh, back and forth. Maybe getting some more stuff hauled. We run around crunch time, so we gotta start getting some things moved. But yes. All right, guys. Well, if you're not already subscribed to our channel, we'd love to have you join us and subscribe. And if you hit the notification bell, you'll be notified every time we publish a video. And if you give us a thumbs up, it'll tell YouTube you are enjoying what you see. We'd love to hear from you, so please comment below, and we will catch you guys next time. Bye.